Thank you all for coming and welcome to our music event today. Uh, you know, Apple's leading the, the digital music revolution, but to us, at its core, it's all about the music. And uh, before we start, I just wanted to uh, 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 recognize a really good friend of mine and an incredible musician who's in the audience with us here today. Uh, 16 time Grammy Award winner and the most talented cellist in the known universe, the incomparable Yo Yo Ma, sitting right there. Okay. He's embarrassed at me. <laughs> mad at me now, probably. Um, all right, let's start today. I'd love to uh, give you an update on iTunes. As you may know, we have sold over half a billion songs on iTunes to date. And uh, we are selling songs at the rate of 1.8 million songs each and every day. Isn't that incredible? And because of that, iTunes has an 82% market share here in the US. Uh, and it's doing extremely well around the world. An 80% market share in the UK, as an example. And iTunes is a global phenomenon. There are iTunes music stores now in 20 countries around the world, which represent 85% of the global music market. Now, the last big thing we introduced in iTunes was podcasting. And so let me give you an update on podcasts. This is the home page for podcasts. And I'm really excited to tell you that uh, there have been over 7 million subscriptions to podcasts to date. And we just launched it like, you know, two months ago. 7 million subscriptions to podcasts. There are over 15,000 podcasts in the iTunes directory, and that's growing by 1,000 a week. So this phenomenon is just exploding. And they are in 21 different languages, including Estonian, Finnish, Serbian, and Thai. Uh, these are some of the podcasts that have been added recently. I mean, take a look at some of them. CBS, CNN, The Wall Street Journal, Major League Baseball, The White House, House Democrats, Senate Republicans. I don't know what's wrong with House Republicans and Senate Democrats, but <laughs> anyway, half of them got it together and they have podcasts. It's pretty amazing. And these are the top nine podcasts. Just want to show you, it's a really great mix of obviously the mainstream as well as the more eclectic. So. Uh, it's a great balance of both. So podcasting is taking off like a rocket. And uh, that's pretty exciting. I've got two other really exciting things to share with you about iTunes today. The first one is that we now have 2 million songs in the iTunes library. We started with 200,000 songs two and a half years ago. And we now have 2 million songs, which is the largest online music library in the world. So 2 million songs on iTunes iTunes. This next statistic we've never shared with anybody before. How many accounts do we have on iTunes? How many accounts? We have just crossed 10 million accounts on iTunes. And they come with credit cards. <clears throat> now, if you take 10 million accounts and you divide that into the number of songs we've sold, it means that the average account has purchased around 60 songs. So these are not folks that are getting on iTunes, buying two songs, and never coming back. An average of 60 songs. And most of these accounts have been added during the last year. So you get a feel for the quantity of their purchasing. It's significant. And with 10 million accounts, that makes iTunes one of the largest internet stores around. As a matter of fact, the statistics are not that easy to get. But as far as we can tell, iTunes may be the second largest internet store behind only Amazon. So we're very, very excited about that. And that's a little bit of an update on iTunes. Now, iTunes, of course, is only as great as its content. We've got the best content on the internet, 2 million songs, lots of exclusive content. Today, we're announcing some new exclusive content on iTunes. Two really exciting things. The first one, Harry Potter. Uh, we are really fortunate that J.K. Rowling has agreed to put all six Harry Potter audiobooks on iTunes, exclusively on iTunes. 
And uh, these books are fantastic. Let me give you a little sample. He drew his wand so rapidly that Harry barely saw it. With a casual flick, the sofa zoomed forward and knocked the knees out from under all three of the Dursleys so that they collapsed upon it in a heap. Another flick of the wand and the sofa zoomed back to its original position. So, Harry Potter. You can buy any of the six books, or we've done what we've done with some artists. Like you 2 last year, we created a digital box set of all of their songs you could buy with one click. Well, we've done that with Harry Potter, too. You can buy all six of these books with one click. It's called The Complete Harry Potter. And if you want to, you can even buy them with a collectible iPod, the new Harry Potter collectible iPod, which has the Hogwarts crest laser engraved on the back. So, With one click, you can buy every Harry Potter book and put it on your iPod, and you can even put it on a collectible Harry Potter iPod if you so choose. Uh, you can go to the store starting today and a whole section devoted to Harry Potter. So we are really honored and really excited about this. The second piece of exclusive content we've got today is also very exciting, and it's Madonna. Madonna has so far uh, resisted putting all of her songs online. You could buy a few of the albums elsewhere, but never buy song. And today, uh, Madonna is announcing that she is putting all of her albums, all 15 of her albums, on iTunes by album and by song. And we are really, really excited about this. So there is, of course, a whole Madonna page and all of the albums. Uh, and I think this is going to have been really worth the wait. Uh, so. What should we do about this? Well, I'd like to thank her, so uh, let's see if we can call her. <laughs> She's in London, and uh, iChat AV knows no boundaries, so uh, let's see if we can get her right now. Hey. Hi, Steve. <laughs> How you doing? I said, we, we've got to stop meeting like this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I wanted to thank you for, uh, for uh, putting all of your songs on iTunes. We're super excited about it. And, um, you know, I know you beat to your own drummer, but when you decide to do things, you do them in a big way. So thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. I, I, I tried to hold out as long as possible. <laughs> but I, I, got, I got tired of not being able to download my own music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Hey, um, you've got a new album coming out soon. You want to tell us about it? Yes, it's called Revenge of the Broken Arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's, co it's called Confessions on a Dance Floor. And um, I just got the dancing bug, and I decided to make a record full of dance music. So I hope you have your dancing shoes on. Great. We can't wait. Now, do you have an iPod? Of course I do. <laughs> Which one? That's so duh. <laughs> oh, which one don't I have? Really? Every time I get, a, every time I get a, a, a new one, a new one comes out the next week. <laughs> You've got to stop being so prolific. Yeah. Well, we, uh, we may disappoint you today again, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you very much, and uh, uh, we're going to sell a lot of your songs for you. I'm very excited to hear that. <laughs> Thanks. We'll Thanks, take, Steve. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. So, go check out all the Madonna albums and songs on iTunes starting today. We're really excited about this. We've got one other thing that's new with iTunes today. Today, we are introducing the next version of iTunes called iTunes 5. And what I'd love to do is take you through just some of the major features in iTunes 5, and uh, you'll be able to download it later on today. So the first one is a little bit of a refined look. You know, every once in a while we go through and we have some better ideas on how to just pull it together a little bit more. And this is, this is what iTunes looks like today. And we've just tightened it up a little bit, a little bit of a refined look. You can see old and new. I think the most important thing we've done uh, in some ways is we've put the time on either side of the time bar, so now you get both the... Uh, the artist and the song name in the LCD display, it's rather nice. On Windows, it's actually even more uh, visible because we have that little bar at the top on the current one, and you can see that uh, it cleans it up quite a bit. 
All right, second thing, a big feature that people have requested, the ability to organize playlists into folders. We can now do that in iTunes. So as you can see, you can have a weekend party folder with lots of playlists in it. Keeps the source list clean and allows you to group things in a, in a nice way. Next one, uh, maybe the most uh, useful new feature for many of us, it's the search bar. It's a way to find what you're looking for even faster. So as an example, uh, when you're looking in your own music library and you search for something, we've added this search bar right here that lets you say, I want to just look at music, I want to just look at audiobooks, just look at podcasts, I've downloaded a video as part of an album, I want to find it, or a booklet. Very easy to find things this way. And we've taken that search bar, and we've also added it to the iTunes Music Store. So when you go to search for something like summer, as an example, you can get the search bar right here, and you can look at everything. We're giving you a little more information now in the Music Store, artists and albums and audiobooks in this case. But if you just pick music, you'll just see artists and albums. If you pick audiobooks, you'll see all the, all the audiobooks that relate to summer. Uh, if you pick podcasts, you'll see all the podcasts that relate to summer. So it's really, really nice to use and, again, lets you find what you're looking for a little faster. We've added Microsoft Outlook syncing. Now, the iPod has always had the ability to put contacts and calendars on it. And Mac users have enjoyed the ability to auto-sync those. So every time they plug in their iPod, they auto-sync their contacts and calendars. Windows users have had to do it manually. Well, with iTunes 5, they can now auto-sync their contacts and calendars right out of Outlook and Outlook Express. And there's a preference in the Windows version that lets you just turn that on, and it's very, very simple. So we think a lot of Windows users will enjoy that. Next is Smart Shuffle. You know, we've gotten a lot of people that say, our shuffle's not random. Well, it really is random. But sometimes, random means you've got two songs from the same artist next to each other. It just happens randomly sometimes. And so what we've added is Smart Shuffle to actually make it less random, <laughs> if you want. Even though people will think it's more random, it's actually less random. And what it is, in preferences, there it is right there, it says, Smart Shuffle allows you to control how likely you are to hear multiple songs by the same artist or from the same album in a row. So you can leave it on random, or you can say, I want it to be more likely that I hear the songs from the same artist in a row, or less likely. You can tweak it however you want and uh, have it come out just like you'd like. So that's Smart Shuffle. Next is album reviews. We've hired a great team that is now writing some awesome album reviews. And so we have over 1,000 of them in there. We'll be adding more every single week. We've got new iTunes reviews, and I think you'll like them. They're very, very good. Uh, over 1,000 of them, as I said, in there. And another thing that's been requested, parental controls. New parental controls, we've got a new uh, parental tab in uh, preferences, and it allows you to say, look, uh, disable podcasts, or disable the music store, or disable the ability to share music. Maybe most importantly, on the music store, don't let my kids preview or buy explicit music. And what's the most important feature here is parents can now lock it with a password so the kids can't change it. And uh, so we've built that in, and uh, we think that's going to be a pretty popular feature, too. So these are just a few of the features in iTunes 5. We're constantly carrying it forward. And uh, let me just go ahead and show you a few of those things now. All right. Let's get iTunes up here, put our buddy list away. And uh, of course, this is the iTunes we, we know and love. And again, I can see the song and the artist at once. And uh, as you can see, I can open uh, a folder here and see a lot of playlists here, which is really nice. And uh, now let me go ahead and search for something. Uh, I'm in my library, and I'm going to search for uh, Harry. Uh, and obviously, I've got a bunch of Harry Potter stuff, but you can see the search bar up here. So I can just say music, and I've got some songs about Harry that have nothing to do with Harry Potter. Uh, in audiobooks, though, everything has to do with Harry Potter, if I want to find one of those really fast. Uh, you know what, though? There's even podcasts about Harry Potter. And here's some of them. You know, it's, it's amazing. And uh, don't have any videos about that, but I do have a booklet. You know, when you buy uh, the complete Harry Potter, you know, it comes with a PDF booklet like a lot of, uh, a lot of our albums do. And uh, so I can find that really rapidly. 
And uh, so that's kind of nice. So this is an example uh, of that. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to the music store and show you the search bar. Here's the music store. And uh, one of the things that, uh, well, let's go search for Dylan here, one of my favorite artists. And uh, here's Dylan. It shows me a list of artists, you know, Bob Dylan and all the other Dylan artists, some albums, even audio books, an audio book about Dylan. And again, I could just look for music. I could look for just audio books. I could look for podcasts, right? But when I go back to music, I can also look for things by artist. And this shows me all the artists down the left and uh, their albums on the right, and even a few more than one if they have them. It's very nice. Or I could search by album and just see all the albums. It's really, really a great way to find stuff. We've also, as you can see, enhanced the store in another way. We've got a double-decker swoosh here for new releases, because this is the most popular part of the store. And uh, so what we've also done is uh, we've personalized it. So we're actually personalizing right up here all the different genres that you go to. So we have home, which is the front page of the store. But in my case, maybe I've gone to rock a lot or alternative. And I can just go see new releases for these particular genres, audiobooks, without having to go to those genre pages. So really fast, I can flip through here and just see all of the new releases. And lastly, I just want to show you the Madonna content here. Again, uh, you know, here's Madonna right here. And I can go find, uh, this was her first album right here. And you know, there's her stuff. <laughs> So, that's a quick demo of some of the new features in iTunes 5. These are some of them, along with a slightly refined look, even nicer. iTunes 5 is available today. It's a free do download at apple.com. Uh, should be on the servers probably about now. So right after the presentation, you can go download it. And I think you're going to like it a lot. Um, there's one more thing about iTunes that we're announcing today. You've probably heard about this. Uh, today, we are introducing the iTunes phone. This is a phone that we have worked on with Motorola that has an iTunes client in it where you can play iTunes music that you've gotten from your CD library or bought from the online store right on your phone. The phone is made by Motorola. We have designed the iTunes client and worked with them to integrate it into the phone. It's called a Motorola Rocker, R-O-K-R, and it's a pretty cool phone. It's a quad-band GSM phone. It's got a built-in camera, built-in stereo speakers that are quite good, actually. Stereo headphones with a headset on them as well. But the coolest feature of the phone, of course, is that it's got iTunes built right in. And uh, so you can look at uh, albums, artists, songs. You can select an artist. You can play a song right on the phone, just like you're used to doing. And you can put 100 songs on this phone, right on the phone. And they don't all have to be songs. You can put music. You can put audio books. You can put podcasts right on the phone. And no matter where you are on the phone, it's instant access. Because there's a button right on the phone that you push, and you're instantly in the iTunes player from wherever you are. It's really nice. And when you get a call, the phone automatically pauses. And you can resume your music right from where you left off. So how do you get your music on the phone? Simple USB cable to your PC or to your Mac. Plugs right in the bottom of the phone and it launches iTunes. And I just want to point out two things on here. The first one is right in the source list. The phone pops up right in the source list. You can drag music right to the phone, really easy. And secondly, if you want to fill up your phone and you don't want to drag in songs, you've got autofill, just like on the iPod shuffle. You can push a button, have it select 100 songs out of any playlist or your library, and put them right on the phone. As a matter of fact, you know, the way we think about this phone, really, is it's an iPod shuffle right on your phone. And so let's, let's just compare the two, and you'll see that it really compares well. Again, both have about 100 songs. Both have the ability to shuffle songs. Both have autofill. Neither one has a click wheel. You know, for 100 songs, you get by without that. But the phone also has a display, which is really nice. You can see what's playing and have a little bit better navigation. 
And so what I'd like to do is just give you a really simple demo of this phone right now. I've got one here. And uh, I can't uh, show you what's on the screen, but I can uh, have you hear what's on the phone. And uh, let's see. Playlists. Pick a playlist. Pick a song. Right off the phone. Audio quality is excellent. And the bass keeps running. So I've got a call, so let me answer the call. Hello? Hey, Steve, this is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hey, I'm uh, kind of in the middle of something right now. Okay. Uh, give me a call back later. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. So I go there, and I just resume my music right back to where it was. Well, I was supposed to resume my music right back to where it was. I hit the wrong button. But you can resume your music right back to where it was if you hit the right button. And the bass keeps running, running, and 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 running, running, All right, there we go. I think you'll like it. It's pretty cool. So, the iTunes phone. Now, the phone is designed by Motorola. They've done a great job. It's been great working with them, integrating the iTunes client in. And uh, it's my uh, pleasure to introduce Ron Garrix, who's the president of Motorola's mobile phone division. Ron? Thank you. Sure. Thank, thank you. you. Well, first of all, Steve, uh, thank you for being here. Um, it's already winter in Chicago, and the ability to get out here to California has been absolutely great. I've been in, uh, in the wireless industry for 20 years with a long history of designing products with a team with a long history of designing products. It is unbelievable rewarding for me and the team to have Steve Jobs glowing about a product from Motorola that's wickedly compelling. Thank you, Steve. Motorola invented mobile music. We did so with a fusion. We took the Victrola, we put it into the motor car, and we created the first car radio. We created a brand name with that fusion called Motorola. And today, Motorola stands for that innovation that we do. We are getting ready to reinvent mobile music once again. And again, we're doing it with a fusion. We're working with the largest digital music player in the Americas, in Apple. We, Motorola, the market share leader in the Americas, and like we always do when we bring rich experiences to the market, we're doing so with a carrier that's raising the bar in America. We're thrilled to be able to put these three things together to bring out the Motorola rocker and again reinvent mobile music. When you think about what we're trying to get done around the world, we couldn't be any happier with the relationship and how much fun this is becoming. We've taken the opportunity to look across music globally, across different tastes, and we put together what I'd call a sneak preview, because nobody else in the world is going to see this for the next 48 hours. It stars just about everybody in the music industry. But what I'd like to do right now is run the ad as a sneak preview that you'll be seeing in just a couple of days. And Steve, thank you for the invitation today. Walk away, Beethoven. Thanks for the lift. Shut up! Oh, and the number one. Biggie! No! A uh, hundred tunes in your phone, baby. I know, Mom, too. So a great phone with an iTunes client is half the story. But the other half is the carrier part. Because without a great wireless partner, we don't have a whole solution. So we've got the number one handset manufacturer in North America, the number one digital music company in North America. And what we're adding to that 
is the number one wireless carrier in North America, Singular. Singular is going to be the exclusive U.S. carrier for the iTunes phone, and it's my real pleasure to introduce Ralph De La Vega, the Chief Operating Officer of Singular. Thank you. It's great to be here. You know, when we started looking at uh, these kind of products and looking at our vision, I think we have a, a very good vision for what we want to do, working with Apple and working with Motorola. And it's a vision about convergence. It's a vision about convergence of the entertainment uh, market. It's a convergence of the computer market and communications. So it's entertainment, computers, and communications coming together and forming a real product, a product that I think you're going to find is terrific. So there's been a lot of discussions about this product. There's a lot of rumors about it. I wanted to tell you that today the talk ends and the music begins. Beginning today, consumers are going to get a new level of choice in this country. You're going to get your songs on your phone anywhere you want them, anytime you want them, with the world's best music service, iTunes, brought to you with Motorola and Singular, and we're very proud to be a part of this team here today. Now, let me tell you why Singular, thank you. The Apple team has been terrific. Now, one other thing that I wanted to talk to you, because everybody asked me about this, well, how about battery life? Is this thing going to have enough battery life? Let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. I flew yesterday from Atlanta to San Francisco, coast to coast. What I did is I took my my rocker phone, I put it on airport, airplane mode, turned off the radio, played music from Atlanta to San Francisco, got off, turned on the radio again, took a one-hour conference call, went to the hotel, made three or four more calls, let the phone sit at my night table overnight, picked it up this morning, the battery was still full. The battery was still full. It's a terrific product, and I think you're going to be very happy, very happy with it. So. What is Singular going to do now? We're going to get the word out. And we're going to get the word out in a way that I think is going to be awesome. We're going to have the best advertising campaign I think that we have ever launched. And we're going to do it with the concept of what happens when you put music and communications together. We're going to do it outdoors. We're going to do it on TV. We're going to do it indoors. We're going to do it on print. And you're going to get a preview in the next few minutes. So let's see if you can catch and get the meeting behind the convergence of music and phones with this next set of outdoor ads. Are you ready? All right, let's see if you get the first. First one's easy. Now you can get kiss and tell. <laughs> they get tougher, guys. They get tougher. Let's see who gets the next one. With, with iTunes and Singular, you can now get smash blabbermouth. Now, if you didn't get this one, it's okay. It's just a segment kind of thing. <laughs> and then finally, Matthew, sweet talk. Huh? It's terrific. Now, let, let me tell you what, we have, what you're going to see next. You're going to see three television commercials that are start playing tomorrow. Not one. You're going to see three that are going to be in the mass market. So we're not just going to be outdoor. We're going to hit the market with three commercials. And guess what? Not just in English, but also in Spanish. And I wonder why they got the Spanish influence kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> so what I want to do is roll the next three commercials, watch it, and see if you get the idea of, of communications and music coming together. Let's roll them. So I'll just Yeah, great. Bye. The world's first phone with iTunes. A hundred songs to go, only from Singular. Raising the bar. What's up? Got it. Bye. 
the world's first phone with iTunes. A hundred songs to go, only from Singular. Raising the bar. El primer teléfono en el mundo con iTunes. Llévate 100 canciones. Solo de Singular. Adelante. So I wanted to leave you with one last thought. We showed you outdoors. We showed you a TV. And I wanted to leave you with one last thought what you're going to see in magazines as you open them. This you would have never been able to say before, but beginning today, you're going to be able to say it in all of our print ads. Let me read it to you. That from now on, Elvis may have left the building, but now you can get him on the phone. So let me conclude by saying that uh, we have a world-class phone from Motorola running on a world-class network from Singular with a world-class application from Apple and iTunes. And I'm very, very proud and very enthusiastic about bringing it to this country. Thank you for the Apple team. It's been great to work with you. Same thing with Motorola. And Steve, thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank, thank you, Ralph. You know, I especially want to thank Ralph for coming today. Ralph, uh, as you know, is uh, the chief operating officer of Singular. He's in charge of all of the uh, rebuilding of the cellular infrastructure down in Louisiana and some of the other states. And uh, he took time off from a massively busy schedule to come here. So thank you, Ralph. So this phone is hitting the market. They're going to be in stores this weekend, brought to you by Motorola, Singular, and Apple. So now, I'd like to talk a little bit about iPod. I'd like to give you an update on iPod first. Uh, as you know, as of the end of last quarter, that's the end of June, we had sold almost 22 million iPods. And uh, with 6.2 million of them being sold in the June quarter alone. That's a pretty big number. It's hard to to really place that and get a perspective on it. Well, let me compare it to another very successful consumer product, the Sony PSP. Uh, I, the iPod sold six, over six million last quarter. Uh, the Sony PSP worldwide sold two. So again, just to, uh, to give us some perspective, six million is a, places the iPod really very high in volume uh, of any consumer product out there. And that's one of the reasons that as an example in the US, it enjoys a market share of 74% for all uh, MP3 players of any kind. Uh, that's July data, the most recent data that we have. Now today, I want to give you uh, specifically an update on, uh, on the accessories for iPod. You know, there's over 1,000 accessories for iPod out there now, between speakers and cases and car adapters, over 1,000 accessories for iPod. And I want to focus really on just one area of them today, which is automotive. It's one of the most important areas because everybody wants to listen to their iPod in their car. And so we've been working with automotive manufacturers now for a few years, and many of them have announced iPod connectivity in their cars so that you can optionally get iPod connectivity in a variety of cars today. And we have four new uh, brands announcing iPod connectivity today. The first is Honda. Honda is going to be bringing iPod connectivity to their cars and Acura as well. The third is Audi, and the fourth is Volkswagen. And these brands join many, many others, too many to fit on one slide. But the most important thing to know is that in 2006, 30% of all cars sold in the US are going to offer iPod connectivity. 30%, you can get an option to plug your iPod right into the car stereo system, hear it through the stereo system, control it from the steering wheel, see your songs on the display. 30% of all cars sold in the US. This is a real milestone for us, and I hope that, uh, hope that you like it too. So that's a little update on automotive, and that's an update on iPod. So now, let's talk about iPods. As you know, we have three families of iPods. The iPod, the iPod Mini, and the iPod Shuffle. Today, we're going to focus on the iPod Mini. 
Now, the iPod mini is what all of our competitors have their sites focused on. Why? Well, it's obvious. Because the iPod mini is the most popular MP3 player in the world. It's the most popular iPod, and that makes it the most popular MP3 player in the world. So that's the one everybody's focused on. Well, today, we're going to do something pretty bold. Today, we're going to replace it. We're going to replace it with something new. Now, let's go back to the beginning, because we started this all with a 1,000 songs in your pocket, right? We started it with the original iPod. And then we carried a thousand songs in your pocket over to the iPod Mini. Well, now we're going to replace the iPod Mini with a new player, an entirely new ground up design that also has a thousand songs in your pocket. And it's called the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano is the biggest revolution since the original iPod. A lot of people have worked so hard on this over the last many, many months. And it is my privilege to show it to you now. A thousand songs in your pocket, the iPod Nano. So, let's get a camera. I've got a pocket <laughs> right here. Now, this pocket's been the one that your iPod's gone in, traditionally. The iPod and the iPod Mini fit great in there. You ever wonder what this pocket's for? I've always wondered that. Well, now we know, because this is the new iPod Nano. All right, let's take a closer look at it. This is the new iPod Nano. It is breathtaking. You won't believe it until you hold it in your hands. A thousand songs. An amazing color display. A click wheel. It is one of the most amazing products Apple has ever, ever created. A thousand songs in your pocket. Impossibly small. It's really small. Let me show you how small this is. This thing is thinner than a number two pencil. Thinner than a number two pencil. Now, let's go ahead and compare it to the original iPod. This is the original iPod that also held a 1,000 songs in your pocket. Look at that. The iPod Nano is 80% smaller. In, vo in volume than the original iPod. 80% smaller means it's 20% of the size. It's one-fifth the size of the original iPod that we shipped less than four years ago. OK, let's compare it to the iPod mini. The iPod mini, an incredibly successful product. The iPod nano is half the thickness. It's 62% smaller by volume. That means it's almost one-third the size of the iPod mini. Now let's take a look at some competitors. Some of their flash products here. Here's iRiver. Look at this. 68% smaller. It's one third the size of a competing player that doesn't hold anywhere near the number of songs. Here's another one by a company called Creative. I think it's called their Zen player. Uh, again, 69% smaller. One third the size. Here's another one. I think this is the Zen Neon. 58% smaller, less than half the size. Here's a player from Samsung, again, less than half the size, 59% smaller. Here's a Sony player, 67% smaller, a third the size. Now, let me compare it to something else, which isn't a competitor, which is a really cool product. This is the coolest phone on the market until today with the iTunes phone. The Motorola Razr phone, right? Look at this, though. 66% smaller, one-third the size of the smallest phone on the market. That's how small this is. It's really small size. <laughs> but it's got really big features.
This is a full featured iPod. So first thing is, it's got that 30 pin dock connector like the iPod and the iPod mini. And so it plugs in to the entire universe of iPod accessories. And again, a gorgeous color screen. And music's the most important thing. But we've added some other things beyond just music. We've added photos. So you can have your whole photo library, up to 25,000 photos. And the color screen is pretty nice, very high resolution. And we've added some great things and extras. We have a new clock, which is set to Cupertino when we ship it, but you can put it to any major city in the world. But you can also add as many clocks as you want and just scroll down and see them. And they go dark when it's nighttime. You have however many clocks you want. Of course, we have games. We have beautiful calendars. We have some new things, too. We have a lap timer, a stopwatch and a lap timer, so you can do some really nice uh, uh, lap times, several of them. And we have a screen lock. If you're going to have your contacts and calendars on, you might want to lock your screen when you, uh, <clears throat> and you can do that. And the way you do it is you set it with the click wheel. You turn the click wheel, it turns the dial, you set the lock. Now, some people are going to forget anything, so they're going to forget their combination. When you take your iPod Nano back and you dock it with the computer that it's synced to, it automatically opens the lock. So you're not, uh, not going to be stranded. So these are just a few of the features of the new iPod Nano, a full featured iPod. And yet all of this weighs one and a half ounces, 42 grams. That is less than eight quarters in your pocket. It's got USB 2 for really fast transfers, and it's got a 14-hour rechargeable battery, all in this tiny, tiny little package. Of course, it works on PCs and Macs. And there's one other thing. You know, white is our signature color for the iPod. They've been white since the very beginning, and of course, the iPod Nano's signature color is white as well. But we decided to do a second color because we tried it, and it looked so cool. And so we're going to be offering the iPod Nano in black as well, white and a black model. So two models, two colors, iPod Nano. The first model, four gigabytes of storage, holds 1,000 songs, priced at $249, the same price that we launched the iPod Mini at last year. Second model, two gigabytes, holds 500 songs, for just $199. These are amazing, amazing prices for these features. And they are shipping today. We are shipping units as we sit here right now. They will be in stores in many parts of the world by this weekend. They will be in some stores as early as tomorrow afternoon or Friday. And this is what you look for. This is the shipping boxes. They are shipping out as we speak today. Now, what's there left to do? Well, you can always accessorize. <laughs> so we've got some really cool accessories for the iPod Nano. The first is a dock, really cool dock that it fits in. This is what it looks like, $29. The second is a new accessory for us. It's really cool. It's a lanyard headphone. It plugs into the bottom of the iPod Nano, and it's a lanyard with a headphone built in it so you can avoid the dangling headphone cords. It's really cool. You slip it over your neck, and this is what it's like. You lift the iPod Nano up, and the display is perfect, as you can see here. It's really, really neat. This is what it looks like in the box, $39. We've done the best armband we've ever done, and we're doing it in five colors. Really lightweight, really beautiful. And this is, the, this is fantastic for athletic activity. This is what it looks like, $29. We've also had requests for things to protect your iPods. And in the case of the Nano, let's add a little bit of color to it. And so we have something new, a new accessory called nanotubes. And what you can do is you can slip your iPod Nano right inside, and it protects them. And it also adds some fun color that you can change every time you change your mind. And a box of five of these, $29. All four of these accessories are rolling out over the next four weeks. So they will be rolling out at different times over the next four weeks, and we'll get them out as fast as we can. These are shipping today. iPod Nano. And again, the key messages here are a 1,000 songs in your pocket 
impossibly small. And so we wanted to make an ad to get that point across. And so we've got a new TV ad that'll begin running in a few days, and uh, I'd love to show it to you now. So let's go ahead and roll it. <laughs> So a thousand songs, impossibly small. Uh, my prediction is this is going to instantly become uh, the highest volume, most popular iPod in the world, and therefore the most popular portable music player in the world, the new iPod Nano. So.